Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy Nilazar back at you. Y'all saw this. Anyways, I'm going to get into something. One a guy in particular on my channel uh, said something. I took it kind of sideways because I thought he was like backhandedly sarcastic. But, you know, he did come out with something talking about Chicano rap and that I should do something to help uh, people, you know, get a leg, a leg up in the game, you know what I mean? Or whatever, like some type of insight into it, which I have really no insight on exactly how to get legs up outside of the fact that things have to change. But before I even get into that, I'm going to go into my, uh, you know, my shout outs. And first and foremost, shout out to homeboy Nacho's daughter in Anaheim. Her name is Delilah Gonzalez. Her birthday will be on the 22nd of this month, which is Friday, this Friday. And, you know, he's really been supporting the channel, buying my merchandise, and really just he's been supporting. So, uh, you know, everybody send a shout out to his daughter, Delilah Gonzalez in Anaheim. And, uh, yeah, also shout out to Prod uh, 909. It's the homie out of SB, you know, San Bernardino. A lot of people tend to overlook these areas for whatever reason. And it's just as grimy as Los Angeles. Not to go into, like, the griminess, but the simple fact that there's some people out there that really got, you know, talent. You know what I mean? And people tend to overlook them like they do certain parts of Houston. But now, you know, it's more talent. And also, shouts out to uh, Letra. I'm going to say Letra because some people can't understand it when I say it in Spanish. It's somebody out of Honduras. Hondurians that are doing their thing, you know what I mean? Him in particular, he got a, a song. I'm going to go ahead and drop it. I think you'll like it if you're into that reggae style of rap. And just even a little different, you know what I mean? But uh, also, shouts out to Hectic. Uh, I don't got his music outside of his disc, but he will have new music and I'll drop it on the channel. And to Bay Recon for doing their thing in Hawthorne this week. And I know the shout outs are long, so let's just get into it. Anyways... You know, I think a lot of people suffer from the, the sheer fact that they don't want to elevate their game. I think that's why a lot of Chicano rappers are not uh, getting to the, the level of success that they need to get to. Well, I just put it in this way. If you had King Little G, which is a prominent uh, Hispanic rapper, you know what I mean? Uh, Latino rapper, whatever you want to call him. And then you got Slim 400 that has just as much notoriety, maybe even more. Uh, some people maybe due to YG and maybe just due to the fact that he got his own lane. But he's out there and people know him just like people know King Little G. But at the end of the day, outside of these uh, of these certain areas, uh, Slim 400 is going to ring uh, greater bells than King Little G. And and that's just because the, 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 the market is in need. Not, not in need, but the market calls for certain type of people. And... Uh, and let's just be honest, it's black rappers. Not only because the delivery is the you know, it's the it's the slang, it's everything. You know what I mean? It's the swag. That's why people tend to gravitate to these dudes. And, you know, there's a lot of Latinos that got just as much swag, but people will always see it as uh imitation. You know what I mean? Somebody trying to emulate a certain style. Uh and, and all it is, I see it like this, it's just people trying to elevate their game. And what keeps them behind, not only the market, look at the market always calls for certain type of people. And the market goes for certain type of spit and people that got a level of skill. Uh, but it's also just due to the fact that the market is, that's what people pay for. That's When it comes down to it, it you know, it, it got a little bit of, to do with race and it got a lot to deal with the fact that just market wants that. You know, the people that own these these companies are all white, Jewish, and, you know, and, and that really has nothing to do with it. But the simple fact, they're going to cater to the masses and the masses call for black rappers and, you know, and certain styles, certain swag. Right now, the bloods are on top of the game with the rap, you know, Blueface is really coming out so he kind of giving them a challenge and that's why you got other rappers collabing with him even though a lot of them said his stuff was garbage but now they're collabing with him but you also got bozo coming out he just did i guess he's doing something with uh uh what's his name joe moses see that's another collab right there that got the possibility to take him to maybe not the top of level to but to bridge something a little bit greater you know what i mean especially in los angeles dealing with the fact that it's all about race supposedly but yeah it's mostly about race uh because a lot of hoods have problems with each other but when you do things of that nature that shows your willingness to excel same with uh, uh sad boy local when he did it with yg even though yg did that the stuff that he did was kind of sideways he still brought uh dude into the game and maybe for his own selfish reason but he also did give this dude a certain amount of recognition which is a, a bigger boost than what he probably gave yg 
And that's what it comes down to. People uh, unwilling to uh, elevate their skill, uh, unable to change the way they spit, the dialogue, the, you know, if if you listen to two different rappers when they talk about uh, their neighborhoods and, and, and how they grew up and just the struggle, the, the, the description is a lot different. And I think a, a, a lot of Latinos that rap lack that uh Lack that, and it's not even that they lack, they just choose not to put much effort into describing exactly what they want to describe, or maybe they haven't been uh, pushed to a certain limit to where you know they go beyond that barrier. And I think that's a, a lot of it when it comes to like you know, the why Latino rappers only go to a certain level and then they stop. You have Big Pun. But Big Pun is a Boricua, and Big Pun had spit, and he had metaphors. And no matter whether he was from the East Coast, it still transcended. It, it, it transcended everything. It transcended areas. It transcended countries. He just had spit, and people forgot. And no, they didn't forget. They just didn't care that he was a Boricua, or he was a Latino, or whatever, or he was Hispanic. They didn't care about none of that. It's the simple fact that his, his the level of his spit could transcend racism. And, and the, also the fact that he said Boricua Morena, showing that he didn't really trip off the fact of, of, of you know, uh, of, you know, of that... The inner mixing. There was no barriers. A lot of people in the Argas where we come from, where the areas we come from, tend to set up barriers. They don't want to collab with certain people due to racial discrimination or, you know, simple fact that, you know, maybe uh, the black dude's not paying them enough money or don't want to pay them money. They just want to collab with them and nothing, whatever. What For whatever reason, they do it. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, everybody is, you know, whatever. They... They have their choice to do what they do, but I think that is the hindrance. And the simple fact that Latinos only, I mean, Hispanics, Cholos, Chicanos, whatever, only cater to their communities. They're not really trying to reach beyond that. So most of the rap is catered towards Cholos or people in the inner cities that are of the same race. And that's what, like, Kier Frost did the same thing. So he limited right there. And I think a lot of... Uh, Latino rappers do that There's a hindrance And when Whenever anybody Steps outside And I'm not talking about The fools that use the N word That there's a lot of rappers That are Latino That come outside Of the basic You know what I mean That actually got Metaphor They got spit And people look at them Like the first thing They tell them is You know They do the same discrimination That other people do to them When they're like Oh yeah you jock our style You raping our culture They do the same to their own When they tell them Oh you're trying to sound black But yet this dude said No he didn't say the n-word Not one time But it's just the simple fact That his his dialogue And the way he spits his, his rhymes Is not the same As the basic cholo You know what I mean Or you, it, it's like Comparing King Lil G To like uh, Lil Rob And Lil Rob and them Have been doing it Blackie All them You remember when Shadow start really like switching metaphors and they go and he was starting to do it and a lot of people started to be like oh he's trying to act black and see that's the that's the one barrier not only the fact that the industry is not uh really supporting uh latinos well hispanics but you also got your own people uh going against you and that's and that's a major hindrance it's like in order to in order to get somewhere you got to support it's like supply and demand you know, as long as you got a product that somebody wants, they're going to continue to buy it. And the shorter in supply it is, the more they want it. If you got, if the market is saturated with Cholo style rap that talks about nothing that only pertains to Cholos, nobody's going to want to hear that outside of a certain demographic. And that's what stands in a lot of Chicano rappers way is the fact that they don't want to elevate they don't want to take it to the next level and anybody that goes to that level is considered a race trade or you know like i said they don't have to say the n-word not one time but they're just not on the same level as them so they consider it uh you're going you're you're doing shit asshole backwards and that is what stands in the way so that's the one thing i see in latino rap you know what i mean black rap will always be different because there's always a market for it. latino rap it, latino rap there's a market for it. chicano rap there's a, a market for it, but it's a limited market you're only gonna sell in certain places uh and and if you and if you do uh if you're able to elevate above that you're still uh, only going to go to a certain level because uh you're not trying to really collab with those you should collab with and even though people might have racial discrimination amongst each other 
when it comes down to the money, you got to realize you got to do what you got to do to get it without compromising your morals. And rapping with another black dude is not compromising your morals. It's money over everything. You know what I'm saying? As long as the dude you're dealing with ain't a, uh, like a punk or a snitch or anything else that could be considered, uh, you know, trash, then it's, you, you should be all for it. And that's how, that's how uh, you know, Hispanics are going to, you got to make the people want you. If you stick to a certain demographic, you're never going to go beyond that. And you'll always be considered a Chicano rapper. You want to get to the level to where you're just considered a rapper. And like I said, a lot of it has to, some of it has to do with race, but a lot of it has to do with the simple fact that the market is not, uh, you're, you're not a major, majorly in demand. Look at the Latino, uh, as far as like the, uh, the Latin awards, who made them pop is, uh, you know, reggaeton and the trap Latino. That's what's making them pop right now. But they're a whole different class of, not class, but they're a whole different demographic and a different genre. So that's why they're able to hit the Latin awards and stuff and just get that major notoriety. Now, if the Chicanos want to come outside that box, you must collab with other people. You must, and not just collab with we dudes, but get collab with somebody that actually gives you a major challenge even if he raps better than you are he's gonna kill you on your own song it's a simple fact that he allows you to do a song with him and 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 just be humble you know you got a lot of latino rappers that ain't humble right now everybody thinks they're the the hottest shit to come out since you know cheese and grits or whatever just be humble collab with as many artists as you can like i said when bozo bozo did this with with uh, Joe Moses and Joe Moses, if you don't know about that dude, then I can't really say nothing. Dude is getting his money like Ty Dollar and all that. You need to really bridge these gap. Dopey's trying to bridge these gap. You guys gotta go there. That's the only way Latino rap is gonna be in demand. Once the the major labels start seeing and their companies start seeing that people uh, are really on Latino rap, uh, they they will back you. And I just tell you like this before I end this video. If you want to get to that level outside of changing, not changing your genre, but up in your game. If you really want to get to that level, your people must support you. If your people support you, regardless of the way you rap, as long as you ain't going too far out. As long as your people support you, you will excel and the markets will call for you. And that's how you get to the next level. But until people support each other and stop criticizing each other and, you know, being... Uh, uh, you know, just at each other's store for no reason. You're always gonna crash and burn, and that's just the way it is. And you're always only gonna make a certain amount of money, and that's just gonna be it. Learn to collab. Learn to look beyond borders, and uh, you'll be straight. You know what I mean? And uh, on that note, I'm gonna let you go. My name is Zod, and I'm out. Ladies.